Did you know that there are over 80 autoimmune diseases? And not only that, but they can literally affect almost any part of the body. That's right. I'm actually going to give you a list of some autoimmune diseases. I know some of them. You might actually be surprised. You, I know you've heard of them, but you probably didn't know they were autoimmune diseases. So you want to stick around for that. Guys, today we're talking about what autoimmune diseases are and what causes them. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Let's jump right in. All right. So let's explain what an autoimmune disease is first. And this is super important. So you know the word autoimmune consists of auto and then immune. Let's focus on that immune word, okay? So our immune system, you guys know what it does. It attacks bad stuff. It keeps us healthy, right? It sees an invader and an intruder, a virus, a bacteria, a parasite, a something, and it goes after it and tries to gobble up and get rid of it to keep us safe, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want. The problem in autoimmune diseases is that the immune system actually mistakes our own cells and tissues as bad invaders. That's right. It sees some of our own cells and tissues in our own body and thinks that they're bad. And thus the immune system mistakenly attacks our own tissues. Mm -hmm. And like, wow, right? Okay, so this is the thing. That is what an autoimmune disease is, guys. It, it's when, when your body attacks itself. So let me give you some examples of autoimmune diseases, right? Because I told you there's like over 80. Some of these I know you know about, but you probably didn't know they were autoimmune diseases, okay? Vitiligo, autoimmune disease. Systemic lupus erythematosus, autoimmune disease. Shogun's disease, scleroderma, rheumatoid arthritis, autoimmune disease, psoriasis, pernicious anemia, type 1 diabetes. I know y'all know about that. That's an autoimmune disease. It's when the pancreas is sort of, you know, destroyed by the body, okay? Alopecia areata. Yeah, that's an autoimmune disease. There's Graves disease, uh, multiple sclerosis, you name it. There are a ton. This was just a small sampling. Remember, I told you there was over 80. So, you know, that's what we have to keep in mind. Oh, oh, and the, and the other one that I think is like probably one of the most common uh, autoimmune diseases I see as a family doctor is something called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. It's one of the most common causes of hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's disease. That's when um, your, your body attacks your own thyroid, which leads to one of the most common causes of hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid. Guys, this is a big deal. That's why I'm talking about it, okay? So literally, as I mentioned before, um, you know, autoimmune diseases can attack and affect almost any part of your body. The thing about it is it causes inflammation. Oh, it causes a lot more than that, but inflammation is a hallmark of autoimmune diseases, right? So it causes inflammation in the area that it's affecting, whether it's the thyroid or the joints or the skin or the blah, 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 uh, you name it. And uh, as I mentioned, it can affect any part of the body, but Autoimmune diseases often affect more than one part of the body. Make sure you check um, uh, the description of this video for links. Uh, make sure you uh, send me a message if you want those links as well. I will make sure to post those. But the thing about it is, um, you know, what causes autoimmune diseases? What causes the body to attack itself? Well, thing is, we don't entirely know. Uh, there's a lot of things about autoimmune diseases that still feel like mysteries. We think that genetics are involved, and I say that for a number of reasons. Genes we think are involved, but we also know that autoimmune diseases diseases tend to run on families. Um, we also think that the environment is involved as well in terms of what environmental exposures or triggers you might have experienced. But a few other things to keep in mind is that women tend to be more affected by autoimmune diseases than men. And those people who have at least one autoimmune disease are uh, more likely to have another autoimmune disease than someone who does not have one. Uh, guys, there's a lot more to talk about. This is just the beginning, but I hope this is a helpful primer about autoimmune diseases. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Tell me your experience with them, what you you know what you didn't, et cetera. If this was helpful, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. For those of you on Facebook, if you've not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. And consider joining my subscription groups as well for exclusive content. For those of you on YouTube, hello. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. And for both of you guys, make sure you go to my website, drjencaudill.com, uh, for my new offering, Dr. Jen's Daily Health Tips, where you can get health tips sent to your email box every single day. There's also a free seven-day trial. Guys, check it out. I'm Dr. Jen.